beautiful day. Too nice to just lay around the nest. Time to get flap, flap, flapping. Ah, yes siree, it's great to be a bird. You fly high over trees, and rooftops, and playgrounds, and streets, and train tracks. Is that my friend Sly Fox down there? Hey! What's he doing by those railroad tracks? That's scary! Hey, Sly! What are you doing? Oh, hello, Boydie. Just having some fun. Fun? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff on the train tracks, a rock, a can, this big old spike. Why? <laughs> uh, when the old train comes roaring by, it'll squash them to pieces. <laughs> big wow. I thought foxes were supposed to be crafty and, and smart. Huh? That's a dumb idea. It doesn't even sound like fun. Well, says you, Birdie Brain. I'm doing it anyway, so there. Hey, wait, Sly. Sorry I said it's dumb, but... Yeah, yeah. Just... Buzz off. What you're doing is scary. You could get hurt or or even killed. Uh-oh. This little winged critter has taken too many trips south if you can. Come my on, trip. Sly. Put on the thinking cap. Uh, Take a look at things. Ah, uh, this is crazy, but okay, I'll do it because we're pals, all right? Now, all right, there. Now show me. Okay, turn it on. Okay. Picture the train coming down the tracks. I uh, got the picture. Look, it's going to run over everything you put on the track. But instead of crushing the junk, <laughs> it shoots out like bullets. Yikes, that was close. A box can get hurt around here. Right, and if there's something big on the rails, it could even make the train turn over. Oh. People could get hurt or, or killed. Stop, stop. Okay, Boydie, you win. I won't put anything on the track. Here's your cap back. Thanks. Now you're thinking, Sly. Hey, wait a minute. Why don't we just throw this stuff at the train when it goes by? Now that would be fun. Uh, this fox is not too foxy. I'll give the choo-choo my old knuckler. <laughs> oh, that hurts. It's bad enough being hit when you're standing still. But if you're on a fast-moving train and get hit with something... It can hurt. Just remember, Foxy, you wouldn't throw a rock at a train engineer standing here. Well... Of course not. Then why throw things at a train she's riding on? Well, I didn't want to hurt anyone. I'm just looking for a little fun. There are lots and lots of places to have fun. Parks, playgrounds, even your own backyard. Yeah, yeah, I know, Brady. You don't have to take me under your wing. I'm only trying to help, old friend. Yeah, thanks. Um, hey, uh, huh, why don't you fly off and find a nice juicy worm for yourself? Hmm, not a bad idea. <laughs> I guess I could use some breakfast. Yeah. See you around, Foxy. Up, up, and away. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd never get rid of that pesky chirper. Yeah. Hey, uh, boxcars. <laughs> yeah, a big old standing boxcar surely can't hurt ya. All aboard! End of the line, Foxy Woxy. Oh, no. I thought I got rid of you, Beakhead. A boxcar just standing still doesn't seem dangerous, but it sure can be. Here we go again. How's that? It can move suddenly. Whoa! <laughs> a locomotive can be way down the line. A sudden push. <laughs> Golly, I could really get hurt. Or kill. <laughs> Let me out of here. Stay away from boxcars. Oh, uh, you're right, Boydie. No more railroad cars. I'm staying clear. Now you're talking sense, Foxy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take a hike. A hike? Yeah, come on. There's no trains coming. Wait, Foxy. Sly. Oh, I'd better tail him before he gets in more trouble. It's kind of dumb to hike along the train track. Dum -de -dum, dum -dum 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 -de -dum 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 Look at my friend happily following the tracks, which, lo and behold, leads us to a railroad bridge. Aha! A bridge! <laughs> Bridges are made for crossing. Dum -de -dum, dum -de -dum, dum -dum. Oh, no. Bridges don't have sidewalks. If a train were to come... Uh-oh. Oh, Sly Fox has two choices now. One, get hit by the train. Two, jump off the bridge. I think I'll go for choice number two. Well, you got the picture. The trouble with being around railroad tracks is getting yourself in a place where you can't get away from the train. Take this railroad tunnel, for instance. It's only wide enough for the train. Like the bridge, there's no sidewalk. Out of my way, Boydie. I'm taking a shortcut through the tunnel. Not again. Hey, wait, Foxy. I was just telling our friend... Yeah, yeah, tell me all about it later. I'm in a hurry. Fine, fine, Sly. If you're caught in a tunnel when... 
A train comes. Clear the way! You can't run or ride fast enough to get out of the way! If I were in a cartoon character, I'd be dead as a doornail. You are seeing the light, my friend. No more hiking down the train tracks, no more crossing railroad bridges, and no more going into train tunnels. No, siree, I'm just gonna stand here and wave at the train as it goes by. Well, don't stand too close. You mean that isn't safe either? Stand way back from the railroad track. Uh. Trains might have things hanging from them. Chains, metal straps that hold things down on freight cars. What, what if it breaks and you happen to be standing close by? <laughs> oh, that hurts. Right-o. It's fun to watch a train go by. But do it from a safe distance. You got it, Sly. Gosh, boy, you sure were right. You know, kids might try any of those things if they didn't know better. True. I hear a lot of accidents could happen to people in cars. Right again, Foxy. But they don't have to happen either. I'm all ears, Brady. You need to know about railroad crossing signs and signals. Uh -huh. Let's say you're riding along in a car, and you come upon this railroad crossing. You see is a sign with an X. That means stop and wait if a train is coming. Wow. This one has a gate and red lights and bells. Now, Foxy Pal, what do the gates, red lights, and bells mean? Stop. Yeah, I thought you'd say something like it means hurry and get across or, or slow down or something. Nope, they mean stop, period. Very good, Sly. All right, Bertie, now let's say my car up and dies on a railroad track and it won't move. What then? There's only one thing to do. Get out fast. Uh -oh. Don't try to take anything with you. Once you're out, run away from the track. Whoa! Glad I was out of the way. Bertie, old pal, you've really been a lifesaver today. A lifesaver, huh? You betcha. And I want to tell everyone I know about safety around trains and tracks and railroad crossings and everything. Hey, hey, Sly Fox, we already have. Oh, what do you mean? Look out there. Huh? They've been watching and listening to you and me. You mean they saw everything we did? Yes. Well, well great. I hope you girls and boys learned something today. Let's talk about what we learned. Uh, I'll start it. <clears throat> First, we saw how dangerous it is to put things on the track, because they can come back like a bullet. Right. Throwing things at trains can be just as bad, both for you and the train crew. Number three, playing on or around boxcars isn't safe or smart. Yes, and please stay off railroad bridges and out of railroad tunnels. I sure learned my lesson there, Bertie. Uh, number five, don't stand too close to the train. Stand way back from the track. Watch for the railroad signals and crossing. If a train is coming, stop! And finally, if your car stalls on the track, get out fast and run away from the track. That beats the picture, Foxy. Uh -huh. It's about time for me to get back to my nest. Well, thanks again for everything, Bertie. See you tomorrow, old friend. Bye-bye, Bertie.